All right, guys, I'm here at the store, and the first thing that I tried to do is pick a time where there's not a lot of people here. Step one in trying to protect yourself from this COVID stuff. Step two for me, immune system, eating right. Getting, uh, you know, all the things that we know are good for us and uh, having it on a consistent basis. Another step is I came by myself, didn't bring my youngest daughter with me. Um, keep, keep your kids and other people out of the way of, uh, of this stuff if possible. The hardest part is the human interaction. Uh, I just saw one of their workers I talk to on a regular basis, have to elbow bump, do things from a distance, but we gotta do what we gotta do. You know, the crazy part is he said he didn't know my, fa my face clearly because it's covered, but he recognized my voice. Do I have a distinguishable voice? And I'm saying all this because Arizona is hitting an all-time high in cases and spiking, just like a lot of places in the country since summertime. We don't know what's coming as far as it being flu season and everything else. So guys, do the best that you can. Protect yourselves in every way, shape, or form. So again, isolate. Um, don't bring other people with you to places like this. Try to time it to where you can come where it's not busy. Um, eat well, get your rest. Um, and if you're not feeling well, like I did last night, stay away from work um, or school or wherever, guys. It's, uh, it's important in there. We, uh, we got to try to do what we can to keep ourselves safe and the people around us. Peace, love, unity, solidarity. And if there's something I forgot, please drop it in the comments. So aside from looking like a Jabberwocky, it's not a bad deal. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Disinfecting uh, things, the wipe downs, all that good stuff afterwards. And I'll even walk it back because I know a lot of people may say like the gloves, put different things on gloves. Um, I wear them at work a lot just because we're in contact with stuff. But it's also in conjunction with a lot of hand washing, disinfecting, spraying, all that sort of stuff. There's just uh, so many combinations of of ways to, I guess, try to stay on top of this. Uh, if you believe in flu shots, if you believe in, uh, I guess, different vaccines or different methods. Um, but let's just try to, I guess, observe it all and understand that it's a huge problem. Uh, and I guess there's a lot of people who are gonna say, no, it's not, it's made up, it's, uh, it's a hoax or whatever. Fine, talk to the people who have lost members from it, lost family members, lost, lost loved ones. I mean, in a lot of senses, numbers don't lie, so I'm not here to debate that. Um, all I'm saying is that, just like if the, uh, we're talking about driving, I would talk about checking your checking your mirrors before you start going, putting your seatbelt on, you know, all those sort of things. If we can just talk to common sense and care for one another, then I think we can get along and survive a lot of the things that plague us. All right, now I'm out.